What do you say to this argument that you hear emerging or less developed economies in Africa putting out saying, you know, it's great that Europe and North America, who initially developed using coal, natural gas, thermal energy, dirty energy, and developed and got to a certain level in terms of their GDPs and economic growth, uh, but are now through their restrictions on financing projects, actually restricting the ability of continents like Africa and some parts of Asia to be able to grow using cheap thermal energy in much the same way that economies like Germany and the United States uh, were able to develop through cheap, dirty thermal energy. Mm. No, of, of course. I mean, after it's, it's an issue of uh, of uh, multilateral negotiation. I mean, uh, after it's true, and I think that that France agree that that uh, there is a need for for Africa and for for less developed countries to have more flexibility about the use of fossil fuel. Uh, because uh, priority is also increasing energy access, having uh, affordable energy, because energy is is needed. I mean, it's a fundamental right to 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 access uh, clean and uh, and um, and um, and um, affordable energy. It's true, for example, for clean cooking. We sp- we spoke about clean cooking, and for clean cooking, at at some point, it's mean moving. From biomass to uh, to gas, but that's a fossil fuel, but but cleaner, but using yeah. unsustainable wood and and deforestation in in the forest. After uh, the the argument that that thermal energy is cheaper is let's say not always true. I mean uh, we have seen that in Kenya. I mean in Kenya the the uh, in Kenya Kenya doesn't produce. Uh, Fossil, uh, fossil fuel. They need to import the petrol products. It's but it has a huge impact on the uh, on the um, on, on the economy. I mean, it costs a lot to consumer. It costs a lot to uh, to the economy in, in, in terms of the commercial balance of the country. And 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 we have seen that Kenya was able to to reach like ninety percent of renewable energy. Well, speaking about only electricity, but ninety percent of of uh, renewable energy. Because it was cheaper than than the heavy fuel uh, diesel or diesel generators that that they, they were using before. So uh, let's say that no uh, fossil fuel are not always cheap are not always cheaper, and most of the time they are not cheaper uh, than renewable energy. And that's that's uh, I think that the overall objective of the support France and the European Union is giving to uh, to countries like Kenya so is to, to reach to reach a system that uh, that's green, um, but that also economically and uh, and socially acceptable for for everybody.